You also mentioned supplements, and I think that's another area that can be kind of overwhelming for yeah. people, especially yeah. when they go to some of the big box stores and see all that are out there. Where does somebody start with that, or is it is it best to get maybe tested, or are there some that you think maybe most of us are deficient? In? Well, there's what I call the foundation five, okay. and so uh, a good multi, if you have cancer or cancer history, you want your multi to be iron free and copper free, because iron and copper are growth signals to tumor cells. Uh, you want to have a good probiotic, so have a healthy gut with healthy bacteria that is part of normal immunity and normal inflammation control. You want to have vitamin D, one of the most important nutrients for not only healthy immunity but a healthy brain, healthy cardiovascular system. Then you want to have minerals, so some source of calcium and magnesium in a highly absorbable form. And then you want to have omega-3 fatty acids, fish oils, or if you're vegetarian, there's vegetarian sources. And it, that's what I call the foundation five that give us optimized nutrition, not the minimum daily requirement is what I call last century nutrition. It is not applicable to a modern life. Mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of stressors. We talked about environmental exposures. We need more nutrients to be able to have optimized health, not marginalized health. So mm -hmm. that's the difference in those ideas.